Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Psychonauts. In the last video, we, uh, what the hell did we do? Oh, well, we had just finished up Mia, uh, Mia, Mia, Mia Videlos, uh, getting her badge for levitation. We headed back into our psyche, uh, to rescue Dogen, and we realized that, uh, it's probably Oleander who's, uh, stealing people's brains and putting them into psychic tanks, and we had to actually fight one of those psychic tanks. And then we did a bunch of stuff, and it kind of led us back towards the uh, the lake. And the lake monster came out and captured Lily, so we are going to go rescue her now. So yes, that is what we shall do. And we are the only ones who can, because everyone else is away. Ring the bell. Oh yeah, and the monster um, ate Lily. Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Good one. Uh oh. So he seems to be sucking the air out. Can't get a good grip. Whoops. My guess. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Ah, it's on my head. I wonder. So he seems to be sucking everything up. Can't get a good grip. Can't use that. Can't get a good grip. My guess would be I have to throw something into his mouth, but he's sucking up everything anyway. Whoop. Hmm. Fire, perhaps? Let's go with fire instead of that. Ah. Dude. Lame, dude. Lame, bro. I wonder if I can just go bang on him. Am I supposed to do that? Something tells me I'm not. Oh, I guess I am. Maybe I'm supposed to set myself on fire. A gnome? I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let me use telekinesis, perhaps. Damn it! Damn it, Bobby!
Suck it up. Suck it up. Suck it up. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so we just gotta set things on fire. Oh, he did not like that. So now we're seeing through his eyes. So now we have to escape from him. Make sure we don't head into the light. Die! Oh, this is no good. Aw, oh, lame, man. Lame, bro. Uh oh, okay, I guess we have to be down here, huh? So we are just running away like a coward. But we shall live to fight another day. Breaking this coral or whatnot. Uh oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, there we go. Wow, this is like, this is a very small area. There we go. All right, and we do it again. He's constricting us to a very, very small area. Ah, oh. oh, we have to platform, do we? Oh, I don't remember how to change direction. There we go. Nope, that's not it. Come on. Ah, come on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and that monster. Oh, I guess it's our fear, really. It's not really a monster in the in the water. It's our fear of the water. This reminds me just a lot of the Mario Galaxy games. Where it's like, oh, you can only go on one path, and that gravity episode, or the gravity level, where it was a square, and you, uh, you, could, you had gravity on each side. You can definitely see where, where Mario Galaxy may have gotten some influence. And this is pretty simple. There we go. Shall we battle? Yes, we shall. All right, buddy. So we basically dodge, dip, dive, duck, and dodge. So he sucks everything back, and then we light it on fire. Ow. Now all of a sudden this tactic isn't working. Why the fuck isn't this working? Wait, there's a temperature gauge showing up here. There we go. There. 
strange. So I don't know why it wasn't working before. We need some health, seriously, though. Big time. Sweaty balls, man. Must be an easier way to do this shit. Set everything on fire. That's the easy way to do this. That must be it. Maybe when it goes in his stomach, it... set everything on fire man that's the way to do it a temperature gauge does appear every now and then but I really honestly have no idea if what that does what that's even related to no clue whatsoever it seems to be affecting him yeah he does not like it and now he's gonna chase us again. So we're being chased along the bottom. This appears to be the uh, maybe the maybe the phase uh, maybe it'll switch it up because he's at half life right now. So maybe it'll switch it up for the uh, the rest of the uh, his health. Hopefully it does. It's kind of a boring boss battle. I mean I get it, but uh, it's kind of tedious. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Oh well, if I'm not, he's dying, so no complaints here. Whack. This phase is interesting, but still pretty easy. I mean, there's really no, well, I speak too soon. I speak too soon. <laughs> oh, I almost spoke too soon. Where the hell am I going? Alright, there we go. Oh, that would have been pretty funny. Oh, yeah, it's just way too easy. Where the... F oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. I do like how the... You know, the the world is interacting with it not becoming wet. So, like, the... the the seaweed is dropping down because it no longer is buoyant. And the fish are falling out of the air. And it's pretty cool. I like that. It's a nice touch. It's just amazing how much is at the bottom of this lake, though. Yep. Smashy, smashy. Aha. Now we hit down. Wee. Ah, dude. All right, where are we going? I guess we're going this way. Oh, aha, I knew it. So this is new. Oh. So. So, ah, I see. That's clever. So we have to get it, make him swing, and then he gets it trapped in there, and we can beat the hell out of him. Clever. I like that. Ah, dude. Lame, bro. Oh, that's a little bit of a graphical glitch there. Gotcha. Now spit up Lily. Wipe that stupid look out of your face. Poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated, mm. accelerated its growth, 
and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Who is hell? Who the hell's Maury? Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, huh. uh, yeah. Oh, that's that what that works was. works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there. I'm not so sure about that, Ford. So what do I have to do? Aha. Uh -huh. I can only imagine what we're about to go into. And who the hell is, this, is that dude Ford was talking about? Have I missed some of the story somewhere? Did I miss something? I feel like I did. No, this can't be. This is what's inside of that monster's head? No way. Oh my goodness. Far top of the morning to you, ma'am. I should have expected this. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, damp and happy can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> I should have expected this. Free the lungfish from the influence of the mysterious Kochamara. Get to the Kochamara Tower and destroy it. Can we destroy it? Ah, oh, ha, ha, that's cool. <laughs> It's like, uh, I forget what that, uh, that game is where you, where you jump on the buildings. Aha, astral projection layer, that was what it is. It's not our lives, it's our astral projection layer. Can we destroy these? <laughs> yes, we can. How awesome is that? We're Godzilla, pretty much. I crush you. Why can't I pick up that pigment? There we go. That was weird. Hey, Gogalore. Down here. Gogalore? Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Are you okay? <laughs> He's dead. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gogolor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we <laughs> must first fuck? destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you going to start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. So instead of Gamera, there's Kochamara. And instead of Godzilla, Godzilla, there's Goggle... Goggle or something like that? Freedom! 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 <laughs> now, how about getting... Freedom! Right. We stole the shield power module from Kochamara. Kochamara. It's for any of us to operate, but it should ah. work for you. Excellent. So we got shields. Hey, is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. No, no, no. So knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing, nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at you. No. 
uh, maybe <laughs> one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait, Gogalore. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore. For freedom! All right, use your psychic shield to protect you from damage and reflect some uh, enemy attacks back at the attacker. Note, you will not be able to maintain a psychic shield forever, and when this part of your mind is exhausted, you will never need to wait a while before you use it again. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and equip that. We want that on our... Let's go with... No, I didn't want to do that. I want this on our left, and I want telekinesis. There we go. That's pretty good. How long do we get? Uh, okay, that's cool. No, I'm I'm good guy. Oh my god! The orphanage! <laughs> Whoops, sorry, we smashed the orphanage. No promises. Can we do Oh there's telekinesis? No, I don't want telekinesis, I want levitation homes. There we go. What the hell? The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogalore. The Navy has responded it's Gogalore. quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. What the hell was that? Is that a subtle little... Uh, I guess we gotta dodge this shit now. I wonder if we can. Nope, doesn't reflect. I like children, shut up! Oh, they go down like a sack of bricks. Let's see. I'm just gonna cruise around the city and destroy as much as possible. Hello there! Oh! Ah, I'm helping you, and by de killing you and destroying you, that's you know it's all part of the plan. Oh God, the orphanage! Hey, look. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. I don't have a duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. All right, we have a new side now. Oops, sorry. Uh, watch out. Oops, sorry. Uh, I don't. I didn't see a tag over here. Maybe it's uh, somewhere else, and I'll come back for him. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, I'm too heavy. <laughs> oh, might as well get rid of that then. Yeah, do do. yeah we'll go with the uh, fire. All right. I hate you, Gogalore. There we go. Got that one. <gasps> My mattress factory. Sorry. I got a real thing against mattresses. Oh, no. Hey. I can pick up the tank, huh? <laughs> well, it's just your house. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Come on now. Let's be realistic. What's more important? Me or your house? Come on. Uh, I'll head this way. I don't think this might have the tag. Oh wait, that's the lasers. <laughs> Let's go explore over here first. We did get a new psychic psychic power from Ford Crawler, so we'll make sure to do that. Uh, let me check the video time. I think we got about ten minutes left. No, we have about five minutes left, but I'll see what we can do in that time. Hello. Another news report. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore oh, broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive car girls. Well, hey, that was only one, one night. Nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper electricity. Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. Uh oh. Hey. It's 
see if this can deflect back. Yes, I can. Ha ha. Ha ha. Dummies. Let's go get that tag. Let's also get that. We got a purse tag. That is not a purse, though. That was a duffel bag. Palm bomb upgrade at rank 35. Okay, interesting. Palm bomb. What the hell is palm bomb? Maybe that's what we get. Maybe that's the new thing we get from uh, Forge. It's just a paint shop. Wait, paint shop. It's a paint shop pro. I remember paint shop. Is paint shop what was before Photoshop? I think it was. Where's that tag? No tag? Lame, bro. I keep saying bro ironically. I hope people understand that. I'm going to stop saying it just to be less confusing. child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature. Damn straight. Only as Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. Well, we'll just try our shield then. Well, that was easy. Gogalore, what are you doing down here? We're trying to get to that Kachamra Tower thing so I can smash it. A laser tunnel, Gogalore. We have to get through that or we'll never get to Kachamra Island. But I thought. There is no I in T, Gogalore. But yeah, there is a me. But there's an I in Squish, so watch it. <laughs> I'll go take out your laser tunnel. But then we're going to talk about who's running this revolution. So why did I come all this way? I can't kill him, can I? Oh, these were the... Oh, that was an objective. Okay. Free the blimp, blimp pirate pilot from his prison. Oh. I am Gogalore. my tank yeah that was the point all right we got a bunch more tanks to deal with wow that's a lot of tanks jesus oops that's no good no good no good ah there's another turret somewhere it appears I could have swore I saw it. Gotcha. Alright, well, let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure this this is a duffel bag, not a purse. This guy needs yeah. a duffel bag tag. Yeah, yeah, alright. Let's see what we can do. I'm guessing. I'm guessing we are going to need to use our shield. Complete guess. Way out of the blue, you know. Who would have ever thought that? Well, let's see what happens. Ah! So it all reflected. That's cool. There's that duffel bag tag, I believe. And... Mm -hmm. We'll head right back and get that. Oh, a vault. Actually, I want to get that vault first. No, we need to smash it. Gotcha. Lungfishopolis under siege. Lungfish. Some other type of lungfish. It kind of looks like... Huh, weird. Oh, that must be the Cochammer guy. 
<laughs> All right. How are we on time? I think I think we're doing good. Well, we're right about 30 minutes, but let's see. Uh, we'll play a little bit more of this episode. Well, actually, what I'll go, I'll do, I'll, I'll, bleh, I'll do this. I will go solve our emotional baggage. This this duffel bag guy over here. I'll come back through the laser tunnel, and in the next video, we will continue on. We'll free the blimp dude, and we'll skip that cutscene. I've seen it plenty of times before. Sorry. 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 Alright, and so with that, we're going to end the video here. Oh, actually, let's go get that purse. Excellent. So we got, we should have all the, we have, no, we have, uh, da, da, da. so we have three more baggage. So this is probably a pretty lengthy level. Pretty cool. I like this level so far. And we got to rank up and we got this emotional baggage. Okay. So with that, I will be ending the video. Uh, in this video, what did we do? We uh, fought. Oh yes, we fought the lungfish, the big lungfish, and we had to do a couple things. There was some platforming between smacking him, and then we had to smack him some more, and then we had opened up his mind and came in here and got, we we're the goggle ra. I can't remember exactly what we are called, uh, but we have to do some stuff in here. We have to set some prisoners free and set this free next time. So in the next video, we'll continue on with this the psyche of the lungfish. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you join me for the next episode of Phil Plays Psychonauts. Thanks for watching.